Welcome back to Ever After Adventures. You're joining us on day five of our Walt Disney World trip, and here's what's coming up. From a beautiful, beautiful morning at Port Orleans Riverside and Walt Disney World in Florida. Uh, today is a very exciting day. I'm just walking across to the hotel amenities to go to the quick service and grab a couple of bits for our breakfast. Carl, Henry and Jack are going to drive around and pick me up at the front of the hotel. We've actually just had the Bell luggage people come around and take all our stuff because they're taking it to Pop Century for us because we're checking out of Riverside today and moving across to Pop Century. However, we have so much planned for today. We're going to Disney Hollywood Studios, which is the first time this trip. There is a load of new stuff for us to see that was not here when we were last here in 2019. So we've got Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway to do. We've got the whole of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And we've got a reservation at Woody's Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, which only opened a couple of days ago. And we're also going to Ogre's Cantina for some drinks later this afternoon. So I cannot wait for that. So there's so much to see. And then at the end of the day, we'll be heading back to Pop Century for the first time, checking into our room, check, seeing what that's like, have a looking at what's around that hotel, see what we think, and probably making some comparisons to here because we've loved it here. We'll take you along for the journey. We'll share any tips and tricks that we come across. So let's go. If you're new here, then I'm Sam. I love vlogging our Disney cruising and our travel adventures, so make sure you hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when the next vlog goes live. This resort is so peaceful. It is lovely. I think I'll really miss it here. I love how it's not too spread out, but it's certainly not all built up on top of each other. And it just really helps when you're trying to get away from like the hustle and bustle of the parks that you come here and it's just a completely different atmosphere and vibe. It's beautiful. Okay, I just picked up a couple of these which have gone down a treat with the boys. They are $5, but they are fabulous. They are crisp rice cereal treats. So there's two of those in there. We also picked up a overnight oats for Carl. Not my cup of tea, so that's what he's got. And a fruit cup, mixed fruit cup. Um, and it came to $22. So that is breakfast for us sorted. I'm just heading out of the front to find them and see where they are. Very excited with my outfit today. So I'll let you check it out and see what you think. Carl's not a big fan. He generally isn't a big fan though with my Disney outfits. So I have a very cool Kylo Ren t-shirt on with my Scott. This is the coolest invention ever. Cycle shorts with a shirt with a skirt over the top. It is exactly quarter to eight and Carl and the boys are just here to get me now. The park opens at eight, so this is good timing. Hey, look how cool it looks. It's not rubbish, it's awesome. What a cool way to get to the park. <gasps> look, Henry, this is the hotel we're going to later. On the left here, look, Pop Century Resort. Ah, oh, look, Jack Jack. Can we look? That's where we're going later, buddy. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Oh, yeah, look, there's a Tower of Terror over there. Oh, I'm really excited about this park. Yeah. Last time we were here, we only stayed for half a day, and that was it, because there wasn't that much to do. Good morning. Yes, we are. Thank you. Thank you. This kind of looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. What a cool way to get around. 7.57, a lovely 73 degrees, and we are parking up. Look 
look at this handsome guy. And we're in, we're in, we're in. What's the weight like? Oh, okay, that's cool. So we can go on Mickey Minnie's Runway Railway. 8.43, half an hour. Oh, okay. Jack, can you jack on this or not? Yep. This is all I see, we'll love this. All right, let's go, troops. Okay, dudes. Come on. Dudes. He's saying dudes. First ride of the day. Oh yeah. That's a good shout. Look! Good morning. Wow, no, this is so cool. Henry, look, it's all Mickey Mouse, this ride. Who is it? Who is it? Thank you. What is it? I'm gonna go back through there. Yeah, no, I think you're gonna like what's through this way. Thank you. He did, look, we're walking through it. That's very clever. Mummy missed it because I fell over. Okay, so long story short, I actually fell over. I dropped something on the floor. I was a bit top heavy because I was holding one of the boys and down I fell. And Kyle didn't even notice because he was too engrossed in watching the cartoon and lots of other people did notice and it was quite embarrassing. <laughs> Ready, Henry? Go on then. Good boy. Mommy, no. Hi, Jack. Hi, baby. You can't come over. Pass, 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 on. Great, wasn't it? I loved that. Mommy, yeah. That bit that way, yeah. I loved the, the, M bit. the M bit with the Mickey fireworks. Yeah. 
I liked a bit where we fell over the top down the waterfall. Carl and Henry. Oh, gotta get this. I'm getting that. It's the ride. Wow, I loved that ride, baby. That was fab. You making a heart? That's cute. Do you think Jack Jack likes it? Yeah, I think he did too. It moved a little bit more than I was expecting it to. It was quite like woo 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 woo, wasn't it? Henry, look! Come on, Henry. Let's go get on Slinky Dog. Woohoo! Hold my hand. Look. Okay, okay. First rule of being a sheriff: never turn your. It's not back as on it's not as fast as Snow White. I promise. It's yeah, it is. I promise. Yeah, it's all outside. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. Come on. Now he's seen it in real life. I think he might be a little bit nervous. Yeah, we can do that. That sounds like a good plan. Oh, look, oh, look, there's a slinky dog up here. He wags his tail and wiggles his body. He can sit up and beg or bite a flea on his leg. Yeah, they're all on springs. And the birdie. And the birdie again. Oh yeah, even the worm. Okay, I know it's sunny. Are you going to put your arms up? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Look! Yeah! Woo! Yeah. 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 It is a little bit. It's not too bad, is it? Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Yes, the end, darling. Hey, you did so good, didn't you? Did it make your tummy funny? Oh, you did really good. Thank you. It hurt it, tummy. Did it just make it feel funny? It hurt your tummy. Oh, baby boo. Do you want to do it again? No, maybe later. Yeah, you decide later, that's a good idea. What was your favourite bit? You don't know. We're on Rise of the Resistance in a minute. Yeah, we're gonna go on the aliens. We'll go on the aliens, we've got Toy Story Mania, the shooting game to do. We're coming back here for lunch as well, so we've got lunch in here today. At Rodeo's Roundup Barbecue. Right, where's Daddy? Oh, there he is. Like it? Like it? Uh, he, it, was, it was fast. It's definitely faster than Snow White. It's faster than I remember it, but he did really good, didn't you, baby? He said he might later. Later? Yeah. Go on, and you two. See you in a minute. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Is that what you're saying? Who is it? Buzz Lightyear. You're funny. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, we're not sure how much he enjoyed Slinky Dog. He didn't dislike it, but it was definitely faster than I was expecting. We were like, yeah, look, it's no faster than Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It's definitely faster than those. So we've got Rise of the Resistance in a minute. I have no idea whether we should take him on or not, so I might have to do a little Google in a minute and see, one, how fast it goes. But I don't want to give the game away for ourselves. Like, We've done really, really well. We've not seen any spoilers for Rise of the Resistance, so yeah, we'll see. I really don't want to look it up and give the game away. Maybe we'll just force him on it. <laughs> I also don't want to undo it. It's really difficult because like he's doing so well with rides and stuff. I mean, we've done Disneyland Paris a couple of times and that, so he is good with and Legoland, and he is good, but. I don't want to put him off, but at the same time, I don't want to not put him on things. Is it Daddy and Henry? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is them. Oh. Hey. 
Did you like that? Yeah, was that good? Did you like that more than Slinky Dog, did you? Yeah? That's got you ready for the day, hasn't it? Three rides in already. Coffee. There you go. Only a tiny bit. Oh, so this is brand new for us. Oh. oh look, we do love Star Wars, don't we? Wow. We did. We saw it from the road. Oh, this looks so cool. Mommy, I mean, look from the road. I mean, on the Oh, we did see it from Slinky Dog, that's right. Mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Was it in there? We gotta go on this ride first and then we can have a look, okay? Yes, buddy. And anyway, you don't have to carry it around all day. Oh, look at the droids! That's a bad it is, that's right. I reckon that's Kylo Ren's, you know. It's the road cool. Oh, is it? Yeah. This place is well cool. I reckon Daddy's going to buy a stormtrooper mask. <laughs> Wowza. Hello. It's totally going to end up with that one. <laughs> it's a pretty cool noise. This place is very cool, isn't it? Very, very well done. Oh, data pad. All right, you two can have a look at that while right, you're waiting to get on rise then. Oh, that's where we're going later. Yeah, Ogre's Cantina. Oh, Henry, look. I'm going to guess this is Millennium Falcon and not Rise. Yeah, this is the Millennium Falcon ride. Locking bay. Oh, pork ribs, tuna pokey. That is cool. Oh, yeah, there's a full like walkthrough with shops and everything there. Yeah, I would have thought it would take you down. I'm guessing Rise is over there. Oh, is that? There you go, that's the breakfast Ronto wrap, wrap things. It's supposed to be a lush. This place is crazy. Yeah, we will go in there, darling. We've got to go on this ride and then we're going to come back and look at everything, okay? Huh. Oh, I smell it as well. It smells like engine oil and rust. It's pretty cool. Where, where is rice? This land is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rise of the resistance. Yeah, this is possibly even a better imagined land than Pandora. Yeah. I, more. I love Pandora, but there is so much in here. Like, everything yeah. is so heavily themed. Well, Pandora is just one shop, one restaurant. Yeah. I also think with um, Pandora, it's amazing at night. And in the daytime, it's still really good, but it's not, as, it's not amazing in the daytime because it only is at night time. It's what? Oh, yeah. Right, you two go on then. Yeah. You can let me know what it's like. How would I describe this world? Apart from the fact it's completely immersive, it's actually kind of intense because there is so much to do. So I think today's plan for us is just going to be exploring Galaxy's Edge and exploring Toy Story Land. That will be it. And if we can get back on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, then we will do that. Um, because I loved it. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be today. Because there is so much to see and there's a lot to do. How was it? How was it? 
What did you think? You didn't like it? He did like it. You did like it? Was it quite... What did you like? So mummy's not been around. Are you going to come on with mummy? Is it so good? Do you want to come on with mummy? Are you sure? you got to hold mummy's hand. Mommy's yeah, can you hold my scared. hand? Was Kylo Ren in it? Yeah, was he good? No, he wasn't good. What did he actually think? He seemed to enjoy mummy stuff. Yeah. Was there just like some Wombo. scary bits? I want to build a lightsaber. You want to build a lightsaber? Well, mummy found... Mummy's got to go on that right first. Yeah, right. Well, mummy, mummy will go on it and then we'll go and have a look at a lightsaber, okay? So you don't want to go on with mummy? Please, can you come with me and hold my hand? Oh, no? Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. Don't make him. Mummy's excited to go on. Wow, where do you even start? That was crazy. It's got everything. I don't even know where the ride started. Like, just like when, when did it become the queue? When did it become the ride? There was so much. It is, that is amazing. What I am going to do is because Henry's only four and he did go on it and he says he didn't really like it, but I can't see where he wouldn't have really liked it apart from possibly the end. So what I'm going to do, rather than give it away any spoilers, because Carl and I had seen nothing about that ride, we knew nothing really about it before we were on it, and I think that's part of what made it amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a video of the full ride. If you've got kids and you're not sure if they're going to like it, then watch it. I know that means you've spoiled the surprise for yourself. However, I think it would be worth it. And now I'm going to see if Henry will come back on with me now, because it was amazing. Oh, and I loved my Kylo Ren t-shirt. That went down really well with the uh, cast members. Oh, look, you look awesome. Show Daddy. <laughs> That's so cute. That is very cool. How much is it? How much? Oh, okay. That is very cool. We went there to look at the shops up there, didn't we? Oh, did you have a look at the shops, did you? Mum, Mum, What, the helmet? Well, this, do you really like it, do you? How about we have a think about it? Because we're here all day today, so we can have lunch in a, in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there's other shops to look at, and then you can decide what you want to buy with your pennies, okay? Yeah? Well, I see that. Well, let's see what else we see and how much the lightsaber is that you want, and then how many pennies you've got left, all right? Okay. And Carl just got us on Millennium Falcon, so off we go. back or wandering around you know as it is down here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge <laughs> yeah will you come on with mummy yeah, yeah you come on with mummy now can you show me what it's like yeah. oh I know and Chewbacca's been out here and Ray okay. they were just sort of chatting with people lightning line hi oh then you do yours too oh it is it's pinging so you want to be the shooter? What do you get to do different jobs? Oh, do you? Did you enjoy this? Yeah. Oh wow. Where is Daddy? Oh, it's, oh there he is. He's over there. I reckon maybe Chewbacca. Oh, there's a stormtrooper. He was a gunner. The man. Oh, Henry, look. Oh, did you? I don't know. A A No. Yeah. Right, second time lucky. Yeah, you go on this side then. Right, Daddy, you go first. Henry, Daddy's got to go first, hasn't he? Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Well, we just had a little nightmare, didn't we? Because we realised that we'd left the passports. Okay, well, I realised that we had left, we had left the passports in the safe at Port Orney's Riverside Room. So Kyle's just been running around trying to get that sorted. And the Disney Experience team with the blue tents here in the park, they rang through. And luckily we left the key in the room. So they're going to get it for us. We just got to swing by later and pick it up. Phew. So now we're going on Toy Story Mania to see if mummy can beat daddy. Never gonna happen.
get all three of the salads on the menu, plus the cheese biscuits, which are basically savoury scones, but they're fresh and warm, and they come with a sweet pepper jam, and they're incredible. And it's all unlimited. Uh -oh. And now, folks, it's my pleasure to introduce the roughest, toughest, rider in the West to the dino and give a big roar for the one you've all been waiting for, the one, the only, Okay, let's talk mains. So there's a set huge basket of meat and the beef brisket in particular is amazing. It's the best brisket I've ever had. It just melted in the mouth. And there are eight different sides you can choose from. You get four to start and then you can ask for the other four later if you wish. And it's all unlimited. It's the last you saw as we were in Roundup Rodeo. So, let's start with, let's start with the cons and get them over and done with because I like to end on a positive. And to be fair, I think it's quite rare that you will hear something very negative from me, especially when it comes to Disney. I'm generally real positive. So let's start with the bad bits and get it out of the way. So, service was very slow. It took 20 minutes to get a drink. Well, first of all, it was like 15 minutes from check-in to an, us even being taken in. And then we waited 20 minutes for a drink and then another 20 minutes for food. By the time the first bit of food came out, we were starving. So that was, that was a, a negative side, but once the food and stuff started coming out, it, it was all quick from there. The other downside, when we got in there, they knew obviously it was two adults, one child, one infant. So they'd set up the infant seat, they'd taken the chair away, they'd put a high chair, which was great. We had serviettes each. They didn't give Jack a knife and fork, they just gave him a spoon, so they were prepared with that. And there was four china plates on the table. We didn't really think about it. It was just like, yeah, great, okay. When the food started coming out, we started dishing up the food. Jack basically got angry, threw the plate on the floor, which jumped back up and cut my leg. So I had blood running down my leg, and it stained my shoe, and it stained my shock sock. It was really embarrassing and everyone was looking, and I knew my leg was bleeding, so I just disappeared off to the toilet. That was a real big downside, because it's like, okay, the service I can kind of get my head around. It's a brand new restaurant, it only opened two days ago, but we didn't think about it, the whole like china plate for a baby, and we just, I, I kind of just thought like, well, if they do this, it must be fine. Like, turns out it's not fine. <laughs> The, the restaurant were really nice about it, but they were more concerned with like, okay, here's like a, if you want to make a claim, here's all the information. They weren't bothered about, oh, what's that actually meant to our experience? Henry was crying because he could see my leg was bleeding. He was really upset. Jack was kicking off. Obviously, Carl then had to look after the two of them while I went to the toilet to sort my leg out. And yeah, the staff were just more concerned about, oh, if you want to make a claim, this is what you need to do rather than, you know, we're so sorry and we will remember that for the future and not give a china plate to a child and actually can we give you a plastic plate or a paper plate now instead? There was like none of that. So they were the downsides. Plus sides, there are a lot of plus sides. As soon as you walk in there, the smell is amazing. Like all the barbecue food, it was so nice. The sauces on the table that you get, you get a sweet, a, sort, um, a sweet, a spicy and a classic. They were all delicious, each very, very different. They were not samey at all. Um, all of the food was amazing. The beef brisket in particular was ridiculously good loads of drinks and they just kept coming there's loads of food the food just kept coming the theming is amazing um absolute favorite part would be when sergeant says like andy's coming in the entire restaurant freezes i mean everyone just goes <laughs> That was so, so good. Like, really, really, really good. And it happened a few times we were in there. So, yeah, I would say the downtimes were timing because we were in there over two hours. Um, and obviously giving China to a baby, which is partly our fault, partly theirs. And it cut my leg open. So that was definitely a downside. But otherwise, we actually really enjoyed it. What we have decided is, because it was a bit of a nightmare with Jack throwing a wobbly again, is we're going to rethink sit-down meals. So would we recommend... Woody's Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. I would, but just not yet. Maybe just give it a little while to get his teething problem sorted with the service time and stuff like that. But I can't fault the food and I can't fault the drinks. All the theming, it was brilliant. And it was really nice to sit down and put our feet up in like an air-conditioned room and stuff. It was all really nice, just the service. And the plate incident. If we hadn't have had the plate incident, that would, that did, that did make have a big impact on the whole experience.
Yeah, it was very slow. Oh, no one to get a drink. Yeah. Mm. Well, it was 40 minutes, really. Uh, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was ages, including the check-in time. It was a long, long time. Hopefully, that's one of the only negatives you get from us in this whole vlog series. What is that? That's not normal. <laughs> lemonade. Fizzy lemonade. You know, $11.50 for two bottles. <laughs> I want to drink Do not throw this bottle away. We're keeping it forever. Have a look. Yeah, have a look, because look at these ones. Oh wow, cool. I mean, this one is awesome. Because otherwise it's a $250 one, which is not happening. Mommy. Do you love that? Cool. Do you want to get that one? Whoa. Are you Go on then, go with Daddy. Let's see when you can do it. I want to build a red one. You're gonna build a red one. He wants to build a red one. You ready? So what do you want to build? BB. Okay. All right, let's go and speak to the man up here. BB. Three choices for the personality. So what was the options? Sorry. First order scoundrels like bounty hunters and. First order or resistance or the scoundrels? What do you reckon? Resistance, like a good one, like BB-8? You want it to be good or bad? Do you want it to be bad? First order. Yeah, that red one. You need order. You want that one? Yeah, if you like that one, so do you want the body to match that one, the red and the turquoise? Yeah, like that body there. That's the body. Yeah, there you go. Ah. Back pits back. Put these pits back. We, we need that bit, don't we? Yeah, there is one. There is one of those ones. Right, do you want to carry that? Yeah, we're going building. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. Okay, right. So I'll get all out of the basket and then she's going to help us build it, okay? Oh. Oh. Right? Okay. Yeah, try not to press this. Boys? Oh no? There's his body. Yeah. Okay. How cold is this, Henry? Oh. Well, I'll hold the bottom. That's it. I found it. That's it. Right, and remember she said twist it. What are you going to call it? BB9? Uh, BB. BB, just BB. What about BB1? Just BB. What about BBH for Henry? Alrighty, we're gonna focus on the head right now. I'm gonna pull these out for you. Alright, do you see these three circles right here? Awesome. You're gonna place the eye of the droid right on top of it. It might not stay together for too long, so that's okay. All right, so hold it really tight together. All right, let's do a little teamwork. So, Dad, you're gonna hold the head really tight. And you, buddy, we're gonna screw in the screws right in here using this machine. Ooh, be like that. Ooh. All right, let's try the other one. Oh. Perfect, whoa! All right, let me triple check. Are you a professional? I've <laughs> done this before. Whoa, you're doing great. Alrighty, here are your little antennas. You're gonna place it on the holes. Here's the other one. All right, you're gonna really push it in there, okay? Yeah. Alright, you're gonna place it on your side. Ah, oh, there we go. That one's in. Go on, you put your fingers on there. Here's little extra instructions. That I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Of course, you're going to look on the side of the TV. So, right down here is going to be battery information for both Joy and Remote. Ready for the chip? Alright, we're going to open this back up. I'm going to turn your light off. Yes, I love that. Then you're going to take the chip. Put it into the slot. 
spot. You have to press really, really hard to get in it. Manage? It is. Oh, the window. So you're breaking the other side. Wow. Well, you, but people tend to be a little bit too excited sometimes. So they could yeah, hear this. Quite yeah, we're going to turn your droid back on, but don't worry. Do you have the remote? <laughs> <laughs> Not having a remote. Is your droid still not activated? No. Then what are we doing with the chip? It's going to go right around the back hole. You're going to place it well, down. That's where the chip will go. Then you're going to activate first. When that big red button lights up, you're going to press it. Already, guys. Remember that your droids are very interactive? Yeah. They'll interact in different parts. So sure this is actually a toy for Henry. Someone else seemed to enjoy this rather a lot. Oh, what are we doing? Just sat here waiting for Daddy and, and Henry to get off Rise of the Resistance so we can go into Ogre's Cantina for a drink. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear? Can you say it? Yep. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear? Yeah. Is he over there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Buzz Lightyear's over there? I think Toy Story Land is over that way. Say Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Beauty. It's hotter than the sun today. 
think I'm bright red. You got a little suntan. No. Okay, welcome to the best bar in the galaxy. You have up to 45 minutes inside. You guys are going to be standing. Okay. I can get a hydro. That would be amazing. Thank you. I can get a hydro. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Let me take BB. Oh wow, look all this cool stuff in here. Oh, it's drink it. <laughs> is it good? Yeah? Which one is it? I don't know. It was called Carbon Freeze. That one. Oh. Do you want to try it, Jack Jack? That is amazing. Whoa, careful, Henry. You okay? What was our favourite bit? My favourite ride was probably Rise of the Resistance because I thought it was amazing. And Mommy, yeah. With the what? With the big oh. waterfall. Ah, uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yeah, when we went over the waterfall, that was probably my second ride, of, my second favourite ride of the day. I loved that too. That was also a lovely, lovely, lovely ride. But we did have an amazing day. Both Carl and I said that was. An amazing day. Did you say that was your favourite day so far? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The full day at Magic Kingdom was still my favourite day, but this so is a close good. second. So we decided to leave Hollywood Studios uh, after Ogre's Cantina and after Henry had had another little play with his BB, as he's called it, his droid. So yeah, we left there and then uh, we've just swung by Port Orleans Riverside to pick up our passports because we're donuts. Yes, we. Did you check the safe? I didn't put anything in the safe. You didn't check it still? It's we. And uh, I filled up our resort mugs again. And now we're back in the car and it is quarter past seven and it's still 90 degrees. It was very hot today. And we are now going to Pop Century to check in, aren't we kids? New hotel. No! What's the matter? My baby ate. My baby fell down. The whole body! What, of the bag? Yeah! It's still in here though, right? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Oh my oh, god. No, oh, oh, thank god. It's stuck. It's really in here. God, I, at my stomach actually just went then. I thought it had come out of the car and we didn't realise. Head is there. Just leave him like that. Right, we need to keep him done up, I think. Panic over. BB is fine. We have head and body. BB is fine. Yes, we're going to Pop Century. We're going to go see our new room and the new hotel. Oh, come on, people. Easy peasy check in. It's already done for us. We just received an email to say, you've checked in and here's your room number. So we can go straight to our room. So we know we're in the 60s block. We're at pool view. We're on the first floor. So uh, we will show you it when we get there. And I'll try and show it to you before we absolutely trash it with all our stuff. Disney's Pop Century Resort. Hotel number two. And hopefully all our stuff is waiting for us in our new room. <laughs> oh, I really hope so. Oh, Henry, look on this bus. It's Rocket and Groot. Uh, are you the galaxy? Yeah. <laughs>
we're at the new hotel. Look, this looks really cool. 4171. Go on, slow coach. There. That's making you a slow coach. Cool. Oh, there's a pin board. You can have a look at that, dear. Hello. Yeah, look. Look at that later. Oh, look at this cool place. Whoa, that's a big old shop. Oh, it's like shop, food, everything. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, the pool. All right, let's go out here then. Whoa, big Marvel game. Oh, look at this pool. Huh? What, in the pool? Yeah. Now? Yeah. It's a bit late, darling. We're going first thing in the morning. Fine. Yeah? Right, so we are stood right there yeah. oh oh sorry baby and our block is here 4171 so if that's behind us yeah. and we're looking at the pool it's on the right hand side so it's this one it's up, up this way there's daddy right 4111 This is fun, isn't it? Look at the pool. <gasps> Look, there's below and Mowgli. Can you see them from the Jungle Book? I didn't notice. I didn't notice, baby. Right, um, I reckon it's in this next block, huh? There it is. Four one seven one. Oh my god, that's so close to the pool. Four, one, seven, one. Right, are you gonna buzz us in? Yeah. Go on then. Oh, and there's the kiddies' pool. Go on then. Does it work? Let me try it. Yeah. Oh, and all our stuff's here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Wait, we all had a each bed. Oh, cool. Why is there only one bed? Oh, that's a bed. Yeah. Little panic. That's a pull down bed. A Murphy bed, or whatever it is they call it. What about what about Jack could sleep with me? He could, yeah, we'll get a crib. We will get a crib. Oh, have we got in it? Oh, there's not nowhere near as much space for stuff. There. Ah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's the ironing board there. Yeah. Oh, that's Look, pretty cool. There's the hangers. There is some hangers. And there's, oh, there's quite a few little storage spaces and the bath and the shower. That's cool. Oh, Henry's having a wee on the video. <laughs> cool. Welcome, Mitchell family. So the shop and the food court at Disney's Pop Century is a really, really good size and there is loads of seating. At no point in the whole five nights here did we see that it was running out of space. It was great. One thing I would say about the food is that I think there is actually more choice in this food court area than there was at Port Orleans Riverside, which was a definite bonus. The food was maybe a little bit more geared to a younger child. There was a lot of like chicken tenders and stuff like that, but it was brilliant and it worked really well for us. 
Stay tuned for the next vlog to find out more about what we thought of Disney's Pop Century. We're also going to be riding the Skyliner for the first time. We've got Topolino's Terrace character breakfast coming up too. Plus, we're going to be moving from Disney's Pop Century to the Polynesian. We've also got three days at Epcot coming up after Hollywood Studios. So make sure you've hit subscribe and you've clicked the notification bell so you know when the next video goes live. It's generally every weekend and then we release shorts through the week as well. So we can't wait to see you on the next vlog. Thank you so much for staying tuned. We hope you've enjoyed it and we will see you soon. Thank you.